Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to Custom Adventurous. So, I bought this like fake iPhone XS Max clone a little while back, and I've just like, I've always wondered, could you actually use this as your like daily driver phone? And so that's what I'm gonna set out to do. All right, so this is my clone iPhone XS Max. Let me tell you a little about it. So the back right here is um, it comes off a little bit. I tried to like glue it back on, but it doesn't seem to want to stay put, and that'll be just something I have to deal with. The ports are fine. I could put a little screen protector that came in the box. Buttons are a little loose. Yeah, the face ID doesn't really work, so I just do the passcode. All right, so you can pick up a clone iPhone for around 90 US dollars. Now, I don't promote you buy a fake iPhone because that's illegal. But if you get your hands on one, could you actually use it? If you'd like to see how this iPhone compares to the real one, you can check my other video where I compare the two. I'll leave a link in the description. In America, there are four main carriers that I'm aware of. There's Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint. I tried putting a 4G SIM from all these companies and the phone wouldn't work with either of them. Now they will work with GSM 3G SIMs though, but things may vary depending on the phone. When it comes to Wi-Fi, I tried connecting the phone to my Wi-Fi and it didn't work. I had to connect it to my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so my clone wouldn't work with my 5G Wi-Fi. Now, if you had a 3G SIM and 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, could the phone even handle everyday things? Hey guys, I'm editing this video right now and I just realized I have zero footage of the phone really like using because I can't get the phone to turn on right now. It just, it won't, it won't turn on so I can't get footage for that. So I apologize for that. For browsing the internet, it was very slow. You can download apps from the Google Play Store, but it takes forever to download. On my variant, the YouTube app was already installed and the videos would take very long to load. I'll be waiting like one to two minutes for a five minute video to load. In contrast, my iPhone 6S or my Galaxy S8 could load the video in about two to three seconds. Everything is very slow when it comes to the internet. One area that isn't complete garbage is the offline gaming. I was able to download Plague Inc and it seemed to run pretty well. The screen ratio is a bit weird, so it was like a little zoomed in, but the game ran fine. I also downloaded this block break game, and it seemed to drop a lot of frames in the game, and the whole thing was really zoomed in. So if the ball went all the way to the complete side, I couldn't get to it. For the cameras, they're just complete garbage. Everything looked washed out, and the quality was very poor. But I mean, it does have cameras, at least. It also took forever to export the files from the fake iPhone to my other devices. The battery life was very spotty. I'd have times where the battery could last like 3 hours of screen on time, then after dying, I would put it on the charger and it wouldn't work for like 3 days. Then it would suddenly just come back to life, after like 3 days of not working. Not a reliable phone at all. Also the back glass isn't glued very tightly, so if you're for some reason going to use this, I recommend getting a case. The whole UI is a clone of iOS and it's pretty buggy, nothing's like super smooth like the real iPhone, everything doesn't seem to work very well. The face ID is extremely slow. You have to be in the exact lighting that you did when you set it up pretty much. Overall, if you're thinking about buying a fake iPhone to use, don't do it. Don't do it. Not only are they ripping off Apple and stealing their design, the product itself is actually just garbage. If you want a phone for $100, there are way, way better options on the market. Don't buy a fake iPhone. If you guys like to see any other cool videos like this one, be sure to check out some of my other videos. Make sure to like, subscribe, and peace.